Oh man, we have had intense rains the last couple days. Yesterday in particular, it rained so much that the buckets that I left out were half full. And that was just one afternoon. We're going and getting the goats. Like, we're leaving tomorrow to go and get the goats. And I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm so not ready. We gotta clean out the buck pen in the back for Shadow and Salem, the two bucks that we're getting. So, grab the train first. <laughs> well, go grab yourself a drink, buddy, and then come back. I gotta get these animals fed, but we're gonna get that buck pen. That buck pen's gotta get clear. Because Davis and I can set up the poultry net together if need be. But the buck pen, I wanna clean up, mow, because it's been sitting vacant since uh, Saffron went to his new home. So, we gotta get that cleaned. You guys might recall we've had our land clearing guy out working on a lot of big projects that we couldn't tackle ourselves. Uh, we've got um, a while back we actually cut down a dead pine tree and the stump has been sitting here. It's gone. He ripped it out. The thing was huge. Holy cow is it such a huge stump. But no stump now. I can start clearing out. He's going to pick up and move all these logs for us over to the, to the log pile. So we have firewood and such and then all of this area that I've previously couldn't get in and clean and mow and keep look and drive through I'm gonna be able to start using that which is gonna be awesome we do have some good news with all of this rain there's a lot of flooding going on around in our area thankfully the garden's not flooded <laughs> but as expected the area where we stole some dirt some soil to raise it up is flooding so that's fine, we expect it to happen. We're actually gonna bring in some dirt and raise all of this up. Not quite the same level as the garden, maybe the same level as the garden, just so it doesn't flood because we're gonna build the soaky coop right there where that dry area is. That's where the soaky coop's gonna go. Annabelle! Hi, mama. Oh, you're looking good. You've been enjoying yourself in this paddock. Getting all the good grass to yourself. Yes, I'll bet you're enjoying that. Look at how good she looks. You can't see him back there, but he's peeking. There's her little brat back there. We, we've we kind of given up on gentling him. We do gotta band him still, but the dehorning was successful. We got him dehorned. So, so far looking pretty good there, but look at how fat and sassy he is. You're a chunker. Yeah, you are. That's because Annabelle feeds him so good. She's such a good mama. What is he? <laughs> so they've had this paddock to themselves. And you guys might recognize that is the downed pepper bush. That's getting ripped out. That's pretty much almost completely ripped out. It's just gotta be moved to the burn pile. And then the pepper bushes, pretty much majority of the, oh yeah, and actually, there, you're, there's a tree line back there that's now missing. We got all of the pepper bushes that were in the ditch um, ripped out, piling up. We've got multiple piles around the property right now to, waiting to get burned. They've got to dry out for two weeks before he can burn them. But we're gonna get them all burned up, cleared away, and then we're gonna have more usable pasture. I'm gonna build a, shade, a, a, a movable shade structure for the cows and horses to have since there's no trees. But unfortunately with the Brazilian pepper bushes, they're so invasive, you, especially down here in Florida, they're a real problem. And with the wetlands and us having to maintain those, we really need to have as few Brazilian peppers on the property as possible. So this is a sad sight. <laughs> this is the box pen that has been sitting empty. I gotta come in here and clean all of this up today. Otherwise, the bucks are not gonna have a place to go. So we're gonna have a kind of a refreshing uh, cleaning of the bucks pen. Well, we can't get in here with the mower until we get all this, at least most of the sticks up. So just start looking. If you go in the back area, you should be able to
extremely happy because look at that. Got the entire area cleared. Got a lot of the branches cleaned up. There's a big pile of big branches because we actually got a tree that we got to take down. But um, we get some intense winds out here. We get really, really intense winds out here. I don't know if it's all year round, but right now it's pretty windy out here. So we've got a bunch of down branches from the last storm that came out. And then I got in, look at how nice it is. All mowed, all cleaned up. I can actually see the goats when they're in here. <laughs> Cause with how tall it was, I would have lost them in here. I would not have been able to see them, but they've got plenty of grass in here that they can nibble on, but not so much that it's gonna upset their stomach when they first move here and we can start slowly working them into uh, more pasture forage like we want them to have. So, I'm pretty happy. Oh my God, I can't wait to see them in here. 